Folks of the weather, welcome to this uh, special update on the winter forecast. In this video, I'm going to talk about specifically how much snow the United States is going to get in your city as well. So I'm going to give you a map on how to find your snowfall for this winter for, the, for your city. I'm going to give you my forecast. We're also going to go over some updates on the winter forecast and uh, some general storm pattern types that you can be seeing this winter. And I'm going to show you some snow statistics across the United States. So first and foremost, comment your city below. I'm going to pick a few random people and I'm going to give you my uh, snowfall forecast. Again, hundreds of comments come in. I'm only going to pick a few here and there. So I'm also just curious to see where all our viewers are from. So comment below. And now we're going to get right into it here. We're going to start off with a pattern type. This is the current sea surface temperature anomalies. And we got an El Nino developing out here. We got this warm blob that's really starting to uh, really organize up here. I mean, it's been warm for a while, but... Yeah, that's going to impact our uh, winter this uh, this year, and uh, that's going to kind of nudge the jet stream north, bring warmer conditions for the west half of the United States. I think you're going to get a jet stream to dive into the eastern United States, central United States this winter, and right up the coast. You know, it's not always going to look like this. It's just going to look like this more than, than average. And then you got your El Nino here. This is going to make the subtropical jet kind of just dive into the the southern united states or move up into the southern united states bringing more uh, cool and wet conditions now when these uh, two jet streams merge you know you're going to get some powerful storm systems that move up the east coast potentially some nor'easters this winter heck you already got one coming this weekend you got warmer than average conditions out here as well so that's going to aid in stronger storm systems across the east Potentially some uh, rapid cyclogenesis or bombogenesis, as the news, as the news uh, calls it. But, uh, yeah, we got a crazy storm pattern setting up, at least for the east half of the United States, uh, this winter. And I'm not even from the east half, so I'm not like, you know, you know. This, but anyway, I'm just calling it how it is right now. So this is uh, the El Nino index. 0.5 right here is you're going to be your El Nino. Anything above that is an El Nino. And we are uh, above that right now. I think it's going to be a weak El Nino. And again, here's uh, the picture. Warmer east half or west half and then a cooler uh, southern and maybe even east half. I think it's going to be extended a little bit further north. The polar jet might dive a little bit further west into the United States. Maybe bring some polar vortexes as well. Uh, with the uh, changes in the Arctic Oscillation and the QBO. If you haven't seen my regular winter forecast, click up here. Something will pop up, and I'll go much more into detail there. This winter forecast, we're just going to keep it simple, and I'm going to talk about your snowfall mostly. Motokai El Nino, that's what this winter could be like. Again, I talk about that more in that other forecast. A little bit different from our regular El Nino. I think this is going to be a weak indication of a Motokai El Nino this winter. It's not going to be, a, you know, a definite Motokai. But anyway, you're going to get a west uh, west half of the United States that's above average and an east half that's below average. And then a precipitation, it, it's uh, below average in the west and above average in the east and southern United States. Here's some similar years. You can read them up here. You know, uh, it's really starting to look like 1415, at least how this falls evolving or the next couple of months. I got a, a warm east and a, and a cool uh, west, moderately to slightly below average in the west, or east, and then uh, above average out in the west, much above average in the northwestern United States. Precipitation-wise, this is kind of what it's looking like. I think this area is going to be more like average or equal chances. There's some years where you get a lot of precip in here on El Nino's, and then some years where it's not as much, especially with uh, what I've been looking at. So. Just put an average out there, and I also think this area isn't going to be uh, terribly below average either, and then above average for the southern United States. So let's look at some snow stats. This is the annual average snowfall for uh, the United States. This is over several years, okay? And my winter forecasts only uh, include December, January, and February. Now, I know a lot of people are starting to comment about uh, snowing, you know, in October and stuff. Again, my forecasts are only for the winter. It's not for the fall. You know, it's for this December, January, February period. But anyway, this map shows all. It's close enough. Anywhere below this line does not get much snow each winter, six inches or less. And that'll be important when we get into the how I factor in my winter forecast here. You know, the central U.S. is kind of averaging out between 20 and 40 inches and in the northern U.S., you know, 40 to 60 inches, and especially areas along the lakes 
anywhere you have lakes and mountains, you're going to receive, you know, heck, 100 plus inches. So that's your average annual snowfall. Now, how about records? The record total snowfall. Well, now this is talking about the, the record years for amount of snow. Really, anywhere below here, you're just dealing with 0 0.1 to 2 inches in this green or flurries, really. So when I say above average for this area, which I have in my winter forecast, now some people are thinking, oh, you know, Miami or someone's going to get 12 inches of snow this winter, way above average. Again, above average with a 0 0.1 to 2 inches is really not calling for much. I mean, 0 0.1 inches, if you double that, that's 0 0.2 inches, and doubling that is way the heck above average. So it really doesn't... Uh, make a huge impact down there. But either way, I think the southern U.S. has a higher chance of getting more snow than they usually do. Again, some areas never receive it, so, you know, factor that in. You know, the central U.S., 20 to 60 inches is your record, and then uh, in the northern U.S., heck, you can get 70 to 150-plus inches. How about uh, the first day of snow? Well, down here, it's uh, rare you get snow. Down here... In that kind of southern central U.S., it's somewhere after December, maybe December 31st. Up here, it's going to be uh, somewhere in November to December. We've got snow already happening out here. So it's already starting to snow out there. It's kind of an early start. But, uh, yeah, so first day of snow, and uh, now we're going to look at the probability of a white Christmas. Anywhere below this line, it's very unlikely. Somewhere in the central U.S., aside from the mountains, you're going to kind of have a 50-50 shot. And then way above that, you know, in the northern U.S., you're going to have a 60% plus chance of snow. So we're going to look at my forecast here. For precipitation-wise, this is not including snow. I'm thinking above average for this region. Equal chance in between. Again, that's kind of a – you could go either or. Now, we're going to add uh, – percentages to this again this is from december january and into february those three months it's not for the whole year just for those three months when you see these 20 percent 40 percent and 60 percent that's essentially uh adding that much to your average or subtracting that much to your average so if your average is 10 inches and uh, you're 20 percent above average you know 20 percent of 10 is two so you're two inches above average you add those two together, and your total for the December, January, February time period is 12 inches of precipitation. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is uh, if you're like on the fringe here, that's probably plus 20% above average. If you're on the fringe here, it's probably closer to 40%. If you're in the middle, it's probably closer to 30%. But either way, we're just going to kind of keep it, you know, as a range. So if you're in the green, it's between 20 and 40%. If you're in the darker green here it's between 40 and 60 and here it's probably going to average about around 60 and then up here you do the the same deal in reverse so you subtract 20 40 and 60 percent so that's kind of how you work uh, with my maps here we're going to factor in the temperatures to find the snow cool east warm west average are kind of equal chances in between in terms of temperatures we're only uh, forecasting slightly to moderately below average out here in the east and uh, slightly to much above average out here in the west again a few degrees can make a huge difference in the winter talk about a snowstorm going from 31 to 34 it makes a huge difference so how about our snowfall this is factoring in the cold temperatures and only snow this does not include rain above average for this uh, southeastern half of the united states i've extended out up into the eastern united states a little bit more to account for those cold temperatures equal chances in between and above average out in the northwestern united states now Let's go back to this uh, map here, and we're going to overlay those percentages onto this map. So, again, when you see these 60% down here, you're thinking, oh, way above average. Well, if you look at that map, it's really not that much. Um, and here we are. We're going to overlay them. Again, a lot of these areas down here only saw 0.1, if that, inches of snow. And below that is, you know, zero inches. Well, what's 60% of zero? It's still zero. So... I just kind of, you know, there's so many small little climatological variations. I just kept it simple and, uh, you know, did it this way. But anyway, so let's uh, do an example here. Let's go up to Chicago here. Chicago has an average of 36 to 42 inches according to this map. We're just going to do 40 inches to keep it simple. 
uh, for this uh, video. So you can see that they, uh, they're they in that kind of that in-between zone between negative 20 and 20%, and they're kind of right in the middle. So let's do a range here. Chicago's snowfall is going to be somewhere between negative 20% and positive 20% below or above average. So we'll go to the marker board here and we'll figure this out. So if Chicago's inches for the winter, if their snowfall is 40 inches, we'll do uh, negative 20% first. So we'll do, we'll, you know, we'll times it by negative 0.2 and you get, you know, negative eight. So they'd be between eight inches below average and then we'll go positive two, 40 inches. And that equals, whoops, that equals positive eight. So between They'll be somewhere between a negative eight and positive eight inches uh, from their average uh, for the winter. So it'll be if you have if you add that to 40 inches, you know, it'd be 32 to 48 inches. Okay. So if you subtract eight from 40, you get 32. Add eight to 40, you get 48. So it's somewhere in between there. So you can essentially take that formula and do it for your city. So if you're, you know, uh, Somewhere in NYC, you're kind of right on that 40% line. Actually, in between the 40 and the 60% line, so that would be your range, but probably closer to 40%. So you would add 40% to your annual snowfall. So that's kind of how you uh, you work with this map here. You can also search in Google and find your annual snowfall there, and then uh, work with these ranges here. And so that's kind of going to give you your your average range for the winter. I think it's important to kind of forecast with a range because there's a lot of different variations that can affect our, our winter forecast here. But this is a, a very detailed map, you know, as it is for forecasting three months in advance. So that's how you work with that map. I um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, if you haven't seen um, this uh, winter forecast I put together, check it out up here. Uh, we're at the end of the video. Comment your city below. And again, I'll forecast for a few random cities here and there. Smash that thumbs up like uh, button if you like these videos. Subscribe. We got weekly videos on Mondays. We have the state of the weather address. These are a weekly and monthly long-range forecast breakdowns across the United States. We hunt for storm systems. Wednesdays, we have Weather Decoded TV. These are forecasting tutorials for weather enthusiasts. And Fridays, we got surprise videos, uh, storm chases, and all sorts of random things. So... Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check that winter forecast out if you haven't seen it. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you soon.